For those of you wanting to start playing low whistles, uh, basically whistles that are fairly long here, lower in pitch than say a high D whistle. See, this low D here, say, is, a, is about twice as long as my high D whistle. Uh, you know, the, the grip that we have on the high D whistle, right? Uh, we, we cover the holes with just the first pads of our fingers. So, first pads. On the low whistle, um, as, as we start getting lower in pitch, and I, really I'm, I'm addressing whistles, they're in about the low G on down range, so low G, low F. Um, and depending upon your hand size, perhaps whistles that are a little bit higher than that, so maybe a, uh, an A whistle you, you might consider uh, using this um, gripping technique that I'm going to show you. Um, the, the low whistles need, need to be held differently than the high whistles, and the grip is called a piper's grip. Right, um, we get the term from the way that Ilan Pipers, um, the Irish bagpipes, uh, the way that they hold uh, their fingers. Um, really, to pro properly demonstrate that, I'll need to stand up here and show you. Um, it's different uh, in that you you'll uh, you'll be covering the the holes, the top two holes of each, or, you know, of each hand here. So the, the top hand, so what I'd call the T1 and T, T2 fingers, and the bottom hand, B1 and B2 fingers, uh, you'll be covering those holes with the second pad of your finger. So in, instead of this first pad, you'll be covering with the second pad, okay? So, um, yeah, so, and, and you'll see that my fingers are fairly straight as opposed to an arched grip, which you, you may use uh, if, you, if you mainly play high D or high whistles, uh, you may play with arched fingers, which is fine. Actually, uh, uh, one of the best whistle players uh, out there, Mary Bergen, she plays with very arched fingers and plays with the fingertips. Um, since I play everything from you know high whistles down to low whistles, uh, you know you may notice that I actually play with a little bit more flat fingered approach. And as the whistle gets lower, I tend to uh, move more and more to sealing the top two holes of each hand. Uh, with the second pad of the finger. So on this low D, for example, uh, it's, it's covering with the second pad, second pad, and then this bottom hole here, I can easily reach it with my first pad of, of my finger there. And then the same goes with the bottom hand, okay? So, and then the thumbs are just comfortably behind, oh, I don't know, uh, they're sort of right behind the, they're in about the, the, the top finger of each hand, okay? Maybe a little bit below, but that's just more of a comfort thing. Just make sure you're not straining, okay? So... So it, it may feel kind of strange at first, but after a couple days of, of playing around with it, you'll you'll grow to appreciate this, this technique. Um, you know, my hands are actually not very big. They're, I'd say they're uh, medium. Whenever I get gloves, I'll get medium-sized gloves. So uh, most of us should be able to play low whistles without too much effort. It's just uh, getting training your hands and your, your brain to, to kind of know where to put your hands and getting used to sealing with a second pad. So uh, yeah, that's Piper's Grip. And uh, yeah, so if you don't play low whistles, um, it might be something for you to check out maybe before if you thought maybe that uh, the stretch was just too much. Um, this grip is going to, going to give you the ability to play uh, whistles um, all the way down to, say, a low C is common enough. Um, um, so, But the low D might be the, the next step for you. Um, I either recommend people, when they get into low whistles, either go straight for the low D if they want to play it along with uh, Irish tunes with other folks playing with a high D. Uh, it's a nice octave spread from a high D instrument. Or, you know, a real fun key to... Uh, grab is the low F or low G. It's sort of a nice um, mix between a high instrument and a low instrument. So uh, that's all I have to say now on Piper's Grip. I hope that helps you um, figure out how to, to, to play low whistles and uh, enjoy your music more. So uh, that's all for now. See you in the next video.